What's going on everyone? Austin John Plays here and today we're going to be going over how you can get the brand new crop Sun Pumpkins as well as grow your own crops in Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. <laughs> Now I do want to say one of the very first things you have to do in order to actually do this is first you have to complete the entire mayoral quest line involving the mayor and CC, all of five or six parts which is going to be able to put your hood down on the Hylian hood like you see right here. You're also going to be getting the CC hat from this quest line wherever that is in my inventory. Here we go, the CC hat. And in addition you are going to be able to get Hateno cheese. I should have a card booping in the top right corner if you're unfamiliar familiar with any of those. After all of that is done, after all six of those quests, then you can finally begin this. Yes, that's right, I am so stylish, thank you. And here in Hateno Village, we're going to be heading right towards the entranceway, and we're going to be speaking with Reed over here, who's going to be saying, what a disaster. Hi. Oh, hi there. I still owe you one after the mayoral election. I'm going to let you in on a little secret. I've been doing some research toward a test run of veggies using some CC brand style. The two of us worked hard raising them. They were almost ready for the harvest. But then a pack of monsters came and thrashed the field, so the whole crop is ruined. The two of us aren't tough enough in a scrap to send those monsters packing. What we need is a bodyguard. Yeah, I'll take the job. This is homegrown in Ateno, the side quest. The monsters come late at night and seem to go back when the sun rises. Yeah, I'm I'm all set. Let's go. This is about the time the monsters usually come and lay waste to the field. From here, there's going to be a whole bunch of enemies to deal with, starting off with the stall coblins. Now, when it comes to the stall enemies, usually spears are my favorite way to take care of them. Just by going after their heads, all they need is one single headshot, and then they're usually out. No, 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 no. Get away from him. Get away from him. Your strength is fading fast? Dude's not even doing anything. Honestly, if we just wait over here by him, we're kind of okay. Uh, these guys are rampant. Wait, are no more gonna spawn? I just, I just have this one guy left. No more gonna spawn for me? Oh, yeah, look at that. I needed to clear those ones out for more ones to spawn in. So does that mean I could just stay here with one of them present? Are you gonna are you gonna try to attack me? Yeah, you're not Oh no, more of them keep spawning in, okay. Really wish I had worst weapons to deal with this rather than, you know, my good stuff. Because these guys only have one HP on the head. And then at 5 a.m., the battle is all over with, and his vegetables are saved. We, we did it. Hey, look at my pumpkins. Those don't look like regular pumpkins, dude. Thanks to you, the pumpkins we worked so hard on got a chance to grow. Aren't these pumpkins beautiful? See the way they catch the sunlight and sparkle? That's what we call sun pumpkins. Homegrown in Ateno, complete. If we go ahead and examine them, those aren't ready for harvest yet. They sell them at the general store by the village entrance. Oh yeah, look at that. We got sun pumpkins right here. They are 20 rupees each. Those are expensive. A new variety of pumpkin that soaks up the sun in Ateno Village. Baked into a dish, it can help heal the effects of exposure to gloom. Oh, well that's neat. So just like sundalions do. This is probably why when I was figuring out recipes, it says any pumpkin, because you have the fortified pumpkin, and now you also have the sun pumpkin. Now, unlike sundalions, those don't actually give you any hearts. That is just gloom restoration. These will actually recover hearts. Now, unfortunately, sun pumpkins are nowhere near as powerful as Sunday lions. If we cook one Sunday lion, that's gonna recover three gloom hearts. And if we cook one sun pumpkin, that's only gonna be one gloom heart. Now, keep in mind the heart means actually four because it's four quarters of a heart. The sun pumpkins have a power of four and the sundalions have a power of 12. Sun pumpkins are going to be one third as powerful as sundalions. So if you're ever trying to make a very effective dish, you're not gonna wanna use sun pumpkins. But the most important part, and honestly, the number one reason I'm making this video is because I decided to go and buy the entire compendium. 
right? Every single picture throughout the entire game. And then I went and I defeated Ganon before finishing the story. That way I could see the not true ending. And then later on, I'm going to see the true ending, right? That's my whole master plan. I did it. And then I went back to the compendium. And just like in Breath of the Wild, after that, you can then purchase the elite monsters. The elite monsters, which I'm not going to show you specifically what they are, but they're going to be sprinkled in here and there as far as like silver bow goblins and silver boss bow goblins. Those are considered elite monsters in addition to select bosses in the game. Here's the thing though, you're not allowed to buy number 243. If I go to Robbie and I show every single thing here, number 243 is just going to be blank. You can't buy it because it doesn't exist until you do this quest. And only after you do this quest can you take this sun pumpkin, put it on the floor, go ahead and take a picture of it, and then enter that into the compendium. This quest is required for you to do the entire compendium and 100% complete it. Now, while we're here in Hateno Village, I wanna talk about you being able to grow your own crops. In my opinion, didn't really need its own video because it's not that fantastic of a thing. Over there is gonna be the school. And at that school, if you go, I think exactly at noon, there's gonna be some students there and there's gonna be a teacher. He's one of the Sheikah. And he's gonna quest you with a couple of very specific things to do, all of which are very easy. There's a recipe and they tell you the recipe and they tell you where to get the ingredients. And then there's a picture you have to go take inside of Impa's house. They tell you exactly where it is. So it's a very easy quest line to do. And after doing those two side quests, which are called Teach Me a Lesson 1 and 2, you then get access to the field out here. And this individual named Uma, Uma is able to grow for you a variety of different crops. What can we grow? She could do pumpkins, carrots, tomatoes, radishes, wild berries, and hydromelons. Wheat and rice too, can't forget those. Also, I should come clean about one thing. I have more experience with some crops than others. I don't know too much about raising endura carrots and hardy radishes. You'll have to forgive me on the yield of those. Ends up a little bit lower than the rest. So I gave her a hearty radish and she grows two of them. And for a full crop to come in, it requires two natural in-game days to pass. You can't sleep at a fireplace. You can't save spam. You can't change the date. Blood moons don't affect this. You have to have a natural clock pass for how long these crops take to grow. And you have to be outside of the chunk after the 48 hours of in-game time have passed. So it's not a good return. There are two free big hearty radishes. That's kind of cool. I assume Endura Carrots are pretty much going to be just as lackluster like that, but you could get Endura Carrots from the Pony Points reward, so no reason to do it here. And this is the full list of everything that she can grow, which is going to be Hylian Tomatoes, Wild Berries, Hydromelons, Big Hardy Radishes, Endura Carrots, Swift Carrots, the new Sum Pumpkins, regular Fortified Pumpkins, Hylian Rice, and Tabantha Wheat. Those are the only things that she is able to grow here. Whatever you want from here, go for it. I'm gonna choose sun pumpkins. And anytime that you want, you could talk to her and say, how's the garden going? She's gonna tell you what crops you're currently growing. And she says it's gonna be a while before it's time to harvest. And then all you have to do is just wait outside of the chunk. I'm now just gonna go ahead and put this in handheld mode, bring it with me while I'm editing and wait for the second 7 a.m. to roll around. Okay, I'm starting to think that your first batch of crops, it's gonna take longer. This one took me Honestly, I wasn't paying attention. It might have been three or four full in-game days in order for all of these to grow. But you get a yield of nine, which is nice. So while this isn't, you know, a tactic for getting a whole bunch of hardy radishes or endura carrots quickly and regularly or regular crops at a ratio of nine, it's not bad. Plus, it's still only that initial investment of one. After I collect these nine, she's just going to have nine more for me. And I think it's a two day cycle after the first yield. So maybe it has to do with the fact that I switched it over. I'm not really too sure. Well, anyways, guys, let me know specifically what crops you plan on farming here. Are you just going to go for the two quick and dirty, easy radishes? Or is there some specific advantage of this that I'm not realizing that maybe one of you have? Please leave a comment down below to help out the community. Thank you so much for being here. If you found this video helpful, do me a favor. Hit the thumbs up button down below. If you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe, turn on notifications. Until next time, Austin John out.